Welcome to this demo video of Mimic MQTT Simulator. This product is used to test MQTT brokers and client applications. As with most other Mimic videos, we see the Mimic View graphical user interface with some devices configured as simulated MQTT sensors. There is one per line, each with a red icon, which means they are stopped. If you had the sensors in your own lab in the real world, they would not be powered on. As shown in the address column, each device is configured to run on its own unique IP address, just like in the real world. For simplicity, we're using IPv4 addresses, but of course you can also configure IPv6 addresses. Let's look at the configuration of the first simulated sensor. We see that the IP address is set at 10.0.0.1, or anything else that you want. In the Advanced tab, we see it configured with the optional MQTT protocol, and in the MQTT tab, we see that it talks to the broker at 192.9.200.246 on the default port 1883. The MQTT Scale 1 config file makes this sensor send two different messages, the first with a one second interval, the second at five seconds. The frequency and payload for each message can be customized to whatever you want. We enable tracing on this device, which will log the messages in the Mimic log window. Let's now start this device, which is the same as powering it on, and see how it behaves in real time. Now let's look at what a subscriber client might see. We're using the Mosquito subscriber client. You can see messages generated as specified. Notice that each message is different. Also, the second subscriber is monitoring a wildcard topic and sees the unique JSON messages. Now let's start more sensors. First we show you in the Mimic View 10,000 foot mode that we have 10,000 sensors configured. Let's start them all. For that we could use the GUI like we did for the first device, but we will start the rest with a script. That shows that you can control any sensor at any time from a batch script. While they're starting, you can see the progress in the GUI, and you can see the multitude of messages published to the two subscribers. The icons have a green border, and the red contents show that the messages are being generated with the total shown in the status bar. Let's now take a look at the third-party broker. We're using the IBM Message Site Broker, and we can see the number of connections incrementing in real time. Once we're done, we should see exactly 10,002 connections, one for each of the 10,000 sensors and the two subscribers, not one more or one less. That's how precise the simulation can be. While it is progressing, we thank you for watching this video. It is the first in a series of demonstrations about Mimic MQTT Simulator. Other videos will show how the simulated sensors can also be configured to subscribe to a control topic and how an application can control the sensors in real time. We will also show how to do end-to-end -end correctness and latency testing and configure the sensors and broker for TLS security. The rest of this video is time-lapsed and sped up 8 times to fit 3 plus minutes and 30 seconds. Thanks for watching.